I've never gone live on my phone, so since there's a storm here in Indiana and I lost my TV, I decided to press the live button and see what happens. <laughs> Hi! I don't know if anyone's watching me. I don't know if um, I'll see comments come up on the screen. I mean, if uh, someone comments, I might have to look later and respond when I can actually see them. But anyway, today I'm rotating... Um, the breeder, the breeder wall. <laughs> I'm rotating it and I do it in sections, but I wanted to show you. And I also recorded a video in here today so I can upload later, but you know, I just wanna see this live button, what it does on my actual phone. Let's test it out and let's see. And today um, I'm working with breeders. These are all red wigglers. Senia Fatita. Well, it shows me that one person is watching. Hi. If you say something, I'll just, I'll see it later. So this wall of breeders. Um, hi, everyone. I've never pressed the live button on my phone, so I figured let me try it since the storm took out my TV and I can't watch my Bigfoot documentaries. So let's just see how this, uh, how this does. If you comment, I'll probably see it later because I'm not really sure if I'd could see anybody but anyway this is my my breeders I do have to organize this entire thing up here is driving me crazy but right now priority is to get these guys out and get them reset so I I rotate this whole wall by sections I do this section then I do that middle section and I do physically move every bin I do. It's just a way that my brain works better by just watching it like that. And the reality of worm farming is it's very messy. Um, it just is. That's just how it is. <laughs> Nobody can help it. <laughs> so let me show you the wall of cocoons and adult worms that are growing up. Um, this wall also gets uh, rotated. And the entire thing gets moved. And as you can see, I have arrows in which direction they go because I'm a visual learner. Oh, wait, I can see a comment. Where do you get your bins? These bins, I buy them on a, a website called um, Web Websterant. And sometimes they have sales. I've gotten them as low as a dollar something each. But you have to buy a certain amount. And the shipping is crazy, but, you know... When I have to buy this many, for me, it was worth it. Um, I just talked to Mimi's Worms yesterday, Samantha, and she got all of hers on there too because if you buy in bulk, you know, it's it's just more economical. But, um, yeah, these worms actually all get moved. And today, um, today I'm, I'm actually sifting breeders and resetting them. And as you can see, all their bedding has like a million little cocoons. And this is nice and moist, but you see it's not finished yet. This, you can tell because it still looks like, I don't know how to explain it. It doesn't look like coffee grinds or dirt, like black dirt yet. Let's see, look, there's, oh, I lost the cocoon. Sometimes they're hard to see, like I can't see them. <laughs> I have um reading glasses, but I didn't bring them down because I have a cheap pair to keep in here because this is a very dirty, like messy job and I don't want to get my nice ones here. Oh, you're so welcome. It's my pleasure. You know, I love sharing everything that I've done because when I first started um breeding worms for selling, you know, I, I asked a million questions every which way there was, and no one would give me a straight answer. You see, look, that's a, a mature cocoon right there. It's kind of orange. So I told Joe, when I figure out how to do this, I'm going to educate people because I know there are people that want to do this and just don't know how or don't want to like struggle and waste their time doing it without having some kind of success. So that's why I decided to just be the different one and and share, you know, my knowledge. And yeah, I like getting my hands in here too. It is so fluffy. So let me show you the peat moss that I've been using that I really like more than the other one. This one, 
Um, I don't have to wear a mask when I work with it. It doesn't create any dust. Let me see if I can turn it. This one. I think Joe buys it for me at one of the big box stores. And this is my favorite peat moss. As you can see, it's like, it's soft and crumbly. When I was working with the other one, and I don't even remember what brand it was, it would create a big cloud dust and I like I couldn't breathe. I had to take like my mask. And even then, you know, the struggles were like real. I got this sifter from uh, Samantha at Mimi's Worms. And I have another one that has a mesh that's a one eighth. But this thing has been a godsend. Um, it really has. It's also quiet because Harvey over there is so loud. You know, Harvey is a motorized vibrating sifter which you're supposed to regulate the speed with this but this thing doesn't work but anyway that's a whole nother ball game with that thing and there's the motor and here the here's the mesh this is the quarter inch and this is the one eighth and then everything falls here but look this entire thing shakes and it creates this noise that when my family is sleeping, because sometimes I'm down here at five in the morning, look at my big foot, <laughs> um, it'll vibrate the whole house. So I'm like, yeah, I better not. I got to get something quieter. And that's when I found this one. Um, this is supposed to go in my garden, but I'm not sure if I want to put him out there. He might get all yucky. I love Bigfoot. I love everything Bigfoot. So anyway, this is what I'm doing today. So today the weather here in Indiana is like, it's wild. It's tornado sirens or haven't gone off yet, but I'm afraid they might. <laughs> so I'm resetting these breeder bins and oh, look at them. They're cool to watch. So this I took from one of the bins over there that I harvested. And then I just add, this is the substrate that they're in sort of. I just add fresh bedding to this wet it down, cover it, and then they're ready to go again. And to me, I've tried every method possible. This is like the easiest way to do this. See, in my video that I just recorded, you're going to see me. I tried harvesting this one, and it was just sticking so bad to the mesh that I couldn't do it. See, look, I had to, I had to stop. And you'll see in the video... It was like, it was a cake. <laughs> so this is what I'm doing today. I don't know how long I'm going to be on here live. I've never pressed this button before. I just wanted to test it out. But this is uh, this is the goal today. And then these guys have to be uh, watered and fed. So this doesn't take long to do. Actually, this is the longest part of my whole process, like harvesting the worms, the breeders and resetting them. Um, it just takes longer because you have to make fresh bedding and stuff. You know, these are, these are, um, I keep tripping over my tripod. These are, look at all the cocoons. Oh my gosh. That's, that's a young one there. He's going to hatch soon. But these uh, bins, when I'm ready to harvest, I just fluff them. I fluff, fluff. So do you guys like the, um, the lives? You see all that? Those are cocoons. Maybe next time I go live, I do it on a Saturday when more people are home. Today I'm off of work because, you know, I work outside the house. And I'm down here and it's stormy and I'm like, I wonder what will happen if I press that button. Oh, I'm glad you liked the live. I'm glad. I'm glad I could see the comments on here, too. <laughs> they do disappear after a minute or so, so, but I'm glad. So, do you guys, does anyone else that watches me do this besides, um, you know, Samantha? I know she does it. Anyone else that I don't know of? Look at this, guys. Yeah. Even though I shower in the morning before coming here, I always have to go again. Let me know if you all do this 
And, you know, if you have any tips or tricks for me, I mean, I'm always learning. I don't care how long I've been doing this. So, see, look, I do give them banana. Oh, I hear the thunder. Now, I'm the type of worm farmer that I do treat my breeders to food scraps. I don't only give them um, chow. I just don't. Even though I know most of the people that do this don't give them food scraps. I do because I have enough space here to rotate this entire thing that by the time I get to the one that I had put the food scraps in to harvest it, the food is gone. Plus, I think that um, it gives the worms diversity in their diet and allows them to have different things to eat, different nutrients. So what's in my chow? Oh boy, I have a recipe. I have a video of a recipe, but I'm always tweaking it. One of the ingredients I put that I don't think other people put in is um, beetroot powder. I put beetroot and I put a little bit of dehydrated molasses because worms, um, they love sweet things. It just, if you put something sweet on the surface of your bin and you come back in a few days, it makes them, they get nuts. They go, it's like they have a giant New Year's Eve party on the surface. They love it. So I put, let's see, I put corn, oatmeal, I put alfalfa pellets. Um, see, I keep the alfalfa pellets here because I have that commercial grinder. And this is a little trick that I learned from Samantha Mimi's uh, high calcium cricket diet. It's that. Um, but you have to use that sparingly, like a little bit. It makes them um it makes them gain weight and chunky. I do have coconut flakes here, which I do give them as a treat once in a while, only on the surface cuz they like sweet things. And I grind some oyster shell in there. I put some Let's see, I forget because I add so many different things. Sometimes I'll do manure. Like the only manure I really use on my worms is rabbit manure. Um because rabbit manure is a cold compost, which means you don't have to pre-compost it before you feed it to your worms. Um, you can just throw it right in. They handle it. The only thing I do do with rabbit manure is I rinse it just to get the urine out of it, and then I feed it to them, and they absolutely love it. Don't do that with uh, cow manure or horse or anything like that. You have to pre-compost that kind of manure because it heats up. And when the worms feel that heat, you know, it's going to either kill them or they're going to run. And I've been doing this 21 years and I have had my times when I've come in and there are worms everywhere and I've had to pick them up and I've had to figure out like what went wrong. What did I do? Because it's not their fault. They're just reacting to their environment. And then I've had to troubleshoot like that. Like yesterday, I uploaded a video where um, I'm just doing regular composting. And that's this one up here. You know, mites are part of the composting world. They're always going to be there. But sometimes I don't like seeing them crawling around. And I know other people don't too. So I, um, I use diatomaceous earth, which is the one that's food grade. Because they have another one that's not. And it's a chemical. Um, and I sprinkle that on the surface of the bin, the edges. I do the edges, the sides, the bottom. You have to get the whole thing because mites are going to crawl and travel. Now, I've never had a mite leave a bin and go on my wall or floor or anything else. And, um, you know, upstairs in my house, if you watch my other worm channel, which is the composting worm lady, I show a lot of my towers on there, which I haven't done a video in like three weeks. I should do one maybe today. Um, I just need more light up there. That's why I haven't done a video. I don't like the darkness, but on there, I have several towers that of course, you know, my mom bought me my first one and then Joe bought me the rest. So as gifts, well, V, what did your husband get you for your wedding anniversary? Well, I got a worm farm. What? They're like, <laughs> so anyway, my husband knows me and he gets me what I love. But I've never had mites crawl out of the towers or the bins or go on the wall floor. And so don't worry about stuff like that. You know, there's a lot of stories and myths out there that, um, yeah, that are not real. So don't be scared. Don't be scared of worm farming. They're a pretty cool thing to do. So this, this I'm, I'm resetting it to go in these. 
So this wall has already been rotated, this section here. So I keep some chow here, but I think I might put two more um, breeder bins here. So let's just get them while I'm with you. So I usually, um, let me put it on the floor because I'm trying to hold this thing with one hand so I could show you more. So I usually go like this and I scoop from the bottom and I flip it over because worms like to go down and that's when you'll get the most amount. So I do a couple of handfuls. And it's funny because when you go like that at the bottom, you could kind of feel them. <laughs> and it feels weird. So let's see. I go like this and I feel them and I'm like, oh. My husband right now would say, that's what she said. Yeah, he does that to me. So I do three, four, I don't know. You know, it's I eyeball things a lot. Only because... I've just been doing it so long, I kind of know, you know. <laughs> Even when I cook, I don't measure anything. I just, I just wing it, and it comes out okay. So I put it there, and then I'll do another one here. And these I already did, so you can see. They're the worms. So when I make a batch of bedding... I'll make a tub about this big and I'll go in each bin and I'll supplement each uh, bin to get more bedding in there. And then I wet everyone down. I cover it with newspaper. Sometimes I forget and I'll put their bubble wrap back on and I have to date it. I am so bad at dating guys. It's, <laughs> I don't know why I just, it's one of those things. I just, I think I trust my instincts too much to where um, I feel I don't need to date, even though I should. It's a very good habit to have, and I'm teaching you all. So, yes, date, date, date. V, you date too. <laughs> so, this is how this is working today. So, I'm going to be down here for maybe a few more hours, and then I take a break. I go eat a meal with Joe, and then I'll either come back down and finish, or I'll um just do my housework because... I like cleaning, and this has to get, like, straightened out. So, that's what's happening today here. Today, at the Garden and Worm Lady. See, look, this one I gave them a banana the other day. They just love it. They love their little banana. See, they usually congregate underneath it. So I'll just put it back and I'll, you know, cover it. Worms are incredible animals. They really are. And this, this is going to take a bit to dry. I don't know why. I think I put a lot of water in this one, so. And it's, it's like spent it's it's done so that one will be okay though this one too it's like it's gotta dry so it will it will it'll be okay this temperature this room of mine is temperature controlled i have another room that goes into there and then hopefully by the end of this year i'm going to be expanding into another room that i have on the other side of the house um isn't this cute Someone made me that on Etsy. So do you all do any of this or what's your, what's your plan? Anyone outdoor? Anyone do this outside? I have the, um, I have the worm barrel outside. That's a, it's a composting worm barrel. It's a barrel that sits on the ground with holes at the bottom and I put worms in there like many years ago. And then I just feed it and the worms just come and go naturally. They just do their own thing. And it's, a, it's like a recycle. I even put like dead animals in there. Like I live in the woods and sometimes I'll find a dead animal, a dead, you know, a rabbit or raccoon or something because um, something killed it. So we've taken it and put it in the worm barrel just to see. And um, yeah, the worms take care of it. 
and it recycles. And then in the fall, I just take everything out of there with a shovel. And that's the spot that sometimes I find a lot of bones because sometimes I'll forget we put an animal in there and I'll find the bones. So in my shed out there, I have a collection of like, I have like the bottom jaw of a possum, I think. I don't even know. So it's funny because one day I found one in my, I have a little bucket in one of my garden beds out there and I found a jaw of, and I swore, I think my family put it in there just to play a joke on me and bust my chops. Cause they knew I was going to dig it out. And I'm like, what is that white thing? And I pull it out and I'm like, oh my gosh, it has teeth. So, <laughs> and from plant obsessed, she watches me too. And she swears that she thinks also that my family put that in there just to get me going. So, <laughs> Hi, Anne. <laughs> so I don't know if she's watching, but I watch all her videos. I watch all your videos, guys. I don't comment on everything because I watch so many videos, but I watch so many. Lately, I've been watching a new worm guy. He's like a chef. I think his channel's name is Tolga. T-O-L-G-A. Oh, listen to the thunder. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, I've been enjoying watching his videos and all the stuff he's doing. And, uh... He had a problem with his African night crawlers recently. And, you know, I read all the comments and it's, you guys are so sweet because I read a lot of comments of, you know, encouraging words to him because it's hard when you, when you lose worms, sometimes, you know, it can hurt your feelings, especially when you put so much effort and work into it, you know, it, it hurts sometimes when that you lose them, but you have to just continue and realize what you did wrong you have to look for the troubleshooting part because you know I'm a big troubleshooter and you just have to just figure it out and make sure you don't do that again next time but um yeah I read all your comments too that you leave on my channel and uh I have a lot of sweet people watching me thank you so much I appreciate you all all your support you're watching me the more you watch my videos you know YouTube pays me and I've been doing YouTube even before they paid me I've been doing this for a long time. I just I just love educating and I figured with all the food scraps we have in the world, you know, why not? People could um compost it and get the castings. The the value of castings, guys, is unbelievable. The value of castings, especially when um I don't know about other people, but when I sell my castings, I don't put any fillers in it. Like I put my castings pure in the bag when I mail it to you. And then you don't have to be afraid to use it. It doesn't burn your plants or hurt anything. Um, I started my Cuban peppers with it the other day. And these are the peppers that I've had like a lot of trouble um, sprouting. And within the week, I can't believe they grew. So maybe later I'll add that to my video that I recorded today. I'll go up and I do, I'll show you the plants so you can see what they're doing. But you know, castings, it's, it's amazing. It really is. I, I absolutely love the stuff. And the question I always get that I've been getting for 21 years, does it smell because it's worm poop? No, it doesn't smell. It smells like soil. If you like take a whiff, like dirt. I wish you could smell. Go smell, take a whiff. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't smell. It smells like soil. And don't worry about using it inside your house and your house plants. It's not going to stink anything up or do anything like that, you know, because I've been using it for many years. And I have a lot of friends that um, I give it to and they ask me for it and neighbors and things. So, yeah, let's see how many people I got on here. Oh, I got 18 people and I've been on 24 minutes. I've never pressed the live button on my phone before, guys. That's why I wanted to do it because I lost the TV. It was up there. I lost the TV. I was watching Bigfoot and the storm took out my TV. So I'm sure Joe will like reset it later. So I decided, let me press that like button and see what happens. So here I am. <laughs> so let me see if I could turn this around. I don't know if I can live. Let me see. It's interesting with these phones, you know, you never know what their capabilities, what you can do with them. So, yeah, Harvey, Harvey, um, we didn't follow a specific plan. We just kind of winged Harvey. There we go. 
And we just built Harvey out of our head and just did what, you know, what we thought was best. And you can copy that, um, that plan or you just, you know, make your own. I've, I've, we built Harvey out of, I watched a lot of people on YouTube and, um, I watched a lot of people on YouTube and we built Harvey out of taking little pieces of every idea and just created it. So yeah, these worms are, are like really amazing. Go over here. So look. That's they're bedding. And if for those of you that want to know what this is, these are pine shavings. Sometimes I do add pine shavings to my bedding. And the reason is, is because pine shavings in your bedding, and I know you can't see my face, but it, I can't put this any higher. <laughs> um, pine shavings in my bedding creates pockets, which creates pockets of air, which is good because you need cir air circulation in here. Sometimes you put so much water in a worm bin that it can get um, kind of like smashed down. And there we are. It can get kind of smashed down and it, it, it gets compacted and it'll create an anaerobic environment, which is um, an environment for rotting in like in a really bad way and you don't want that because that if, if you've ever had an anaerobic environment in one of your bins you will definitely know because it smells so bad I had it happen last year to me I, I have a video on it and as I did the worm rescue because I had to rescue the worms I had to like walk away a few times and take a breather and come back because the smell was horrid like it was really bad so this one needs a little more. So I don't really measure, you know, I don't know. I just do what I feel is best. This one's good. So this entire wall, everything here, that's chow I keep. Everything here gets rotated. And you gotta look behind because sometimes in your little bin, a little straggler will stay behind and we don't want to lose one. So I'll add more bedding to that. And then let's see over here. Let me bring you in so you can see that. Technology, huh? I love it. I was listening to, yesterday I was listening to Cuban music. Today I'm just in the mood for some quiet. See, these are adult breeders. Very healthy, very nice. But this bedding, obviously, it's not finished. And there's cocoons in here and all types of life. So people are really enjoying the um, the starter colonies. People are messaging me that, um, thank you for creating them, that it's a more affordable way for them to get worms. You just have to be patient. And when you dump it in your worm bin, you have to wet it down and just wait for cocoons to hatch and things like that. Look at that. That's amazing, isn't it? I love them. So these were harvested using the sifter over there. And they're just going to get reset. So if you're interested in worms, you can visit my website, thegardenandwormlady.com. And I got worms, a uh, quarter pound, and then I have the starter colonies. And I have the starter colonies for the four species bin because someone had asked me to do that. And I thought, man, that's a great idea. The next starter colony I'm going to start working on is the European Nightcrawler only. So 
that's what I'm doing. Let's see. I got that. That one. I just check on them and make sure. Like I have worms in every one. So I'll just take them and go like this. I think I'll do four in this one. That's probably about more than a quarter pound, but that's okay. These tubs are big. I get these tubs at, um, these bigger tubs are from Sam's Club. I don't remember the size. Let me see. This one doesn't have a label. I thought I saw a label on one of them. Anyway, they're busboy bins, they're called. So I get these at Sam's Club. But the small ones on the wall, those are from websterrant.com. And those on the wall, the smaller ones, I know that those, like those over here, I know that they're 20 by 15 by 5. And they're not, they're not expensive. They, they have sales once in a while, but what I don't like is their shipping. But if you need them, you need them. What are you going to do, right? So that's what, uh, that's what I did. I had to get a lot of them, so. I had no choice, you know, but to pay for the shipping. Plus, they were like three something each or something. So. I don't know what I'm eating today. I took some steaks out, but I don't know if I'm going to cook them today or maybe tomorrow. Sometimes on Saturday nights, I like to go get um, Chinese food for us and bring it home. I have to go to another town to do that because, you know, I live in the country. Um, but I'll do that. And then that's when I like to work on my knitted hats or I watch a lot of scary movies. <laughs> My sons are like, you watch so many scary movies, you'd think that your nerves would be on edge. I'm like, nah. I'll fight Jason. Want to come at me, bro? I'll get him. <laughs> but I like the um, I like the scary movies from the '80s that we grew up with, like the real Halloween and just the ones without all those effects, like the, the music alone terrified you, you know, I, that's what I love. I love those, but you see what I have left here. That's enough to leave in this bin. So I'm just going to leave it and it's going to go on the wall. Let me lift this up so you're not looking at an empty tray. So it's going to go on the wall over here. So these were already done. So the goal was to harvest some of these today, but you know, it's too wet. Like I can't, I can't do it. Look, it's like. So, oh, I just saw a comment from Michael. Hi, Michael. Michael's been around for a while watching me. <laughs> so as, you, as you're going to see in the video that I recorded, I tried to harvest that on here. And it stuck to the mesh like it was like cake batter. So I'm like, I can't, I can't do this. So do you want to see what I actually harvested? Like the, the bedding? Let me show you. This thing has little wheels on it. Let me bring you with me. Okay. So this is what actually came out of the bins. And as you can see, it's loaded with cocoons. So that's a freshly laid cocoon. When they're gonna hatch, they turn like a burnt orange color. And sometimes, 
they're hard to see because, well, they're, they blend in so well, you know. It's easier to spot the fresh ones like this one because they're yellow. But you see all of this full of cocoons goes on this wall ready to hatch and grow up the wall moves over and then i harvest and sell from over here so you have to sell what you hatch if you do that and you rotate these guys on a regular basis to get their cocoons and then you turn around and you go over here you're not going to run out of worms and that was um I had to learn that the hard way because um, last year I did run out of worms. <laughs> so ever for more than a year now, I've been implementing this um, system and it's been working. Hi from Pakistan. How are you? I love the food from your culture. We have a restaurants here with Pakistani food and oh my gosh. Middle Eastern food is absolutely delicious. We love it. I eat something called, uh, I don't know if they eat it in Pakistan. It's I know they eat it in Lebanon. It's called labna. And it's like a yogurt that turns into like a cream cheese. There's like something you have to do to it to add salt. I make it at, upstairs. And I use it like a spread. It is the most delicious thing. We eat it with um, a little olive oil and pita bread. But hello, I know you all in Pakistan and other uh, countries out there also worm farm. And uh, it's good that you're doing this. That way you could help with, um, you know, all the food scraps and things you all have over there. But, you know, Joe and I grew up in uh, New Jersey, right across the river from Manhattan. And we grew up with people from all over the world. And we've tasted every type of food and experienced every type of culture. We, we love everybody. I love all people from everywhere. I don't care where they're from. Um, I just, my goal is to just help people learn how to do this. And I answer a lot of questions every day, you know. Every once in a while, though, if I miss your question, just ask again. Because sometimes um, the comments in YouTube, they kind of get lost a little bit. Like, I'll, I'll miss one once in a while. And Joe will see. And he's like, did you see that one? And I'm like, no. Oh, hi, Romania. Hello. How are you? I love uh, people watching from all over the world. So do you all do this over there in your countries? Let me know what you do. It's very interesting. I watch a lot of videos. Um, I watch videos from India, too. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you watching. You've been doing this two years now. Wow. It's exciting, isn't it? And once you love worm farming, it never gets boring or, you know. But let me tell you something, and this is the reality because, you know, I'm real with you all. It does have its up and downs. It does have its up and downs. I mean, you will sometimes experience trouble, but you just got to, you know, got to go with the flow. Alaska. You know, I've always wanted to go to Alaska. There's a there's an island cuz we um we go to the Orthodox Christian Church and there's an island over there that there's I think a monastery of Orthodox monks and I've always wanted to go somewhere near Kodiak, I think. And I've always wanted to go there and I keep uh, looking at it to see if there's tours or something they go there. I think I only I think I have to go there by boat. I'm not sure. But, yeah, I've always wanted to go to Alaska. I watch a lot of documentaries on Alaska, survival in Alaska, like all the bear population in Alaska. <laughs> I, watch, I, watch the, I watch the most interesting things on YouTube, guys. I'll go from, like, Alaska to, like, a cyst-popping explosion on someone's back, and it's like, wow. <laughs> yes, so when you use your castings and you put them in your in your potted plants you will see little worms in there sometimes um yeah you will i missed that comment but i told you after this live is over i'm gonna go back to the comments and i'll look at them and i'll respond um you will see little worms living in you know in your garden okay someone just messaged me they got their worms i believe yay <laughs> 
<laughs> Today's the day for the warm deliveries. And, you know, the weather here in Indiana is so crazy. I just hope nobody has problems. But if you ever buy worms from me and you have, like, a problem, just message me right away and I always work it out with you. I'm not one of those that's going to say, oh, I'm not replacing them. That's not true. <laughs> so I've had a lot of coffee today. But, you know, normally I'm up there and I watch your YouTube videos and the storm took out my TV. So that's okay. That's why I'm on here. So I really like pressing this live button on the phone. I've never done it before and it's interesting. You guys could always just, you know, I know you watch all my videos and sometimes I do some editing if like I sneeze or something. But, you know, this is live. So whatever happens, happens. <laughs> And yesterday, I was working over here, and one of these bins was full of worms because I had just sit it there, and the whole thing almost fell out. I had to catch it. There would have been a million worms on the floor, and I would have had to deeply apologize to them for dropping them. So, <laughs> it would have been upset with me. But anyway, I'm going to continue doing this wall, and I think it's time for me to take, like, a break. Isn't this cart awesome, guys? I got that at walmart.com and that water sprayer holds a little more than four gallons and it's battery operated. I just charge it and I go bin by bin and just spray everything. It's made my life so much easier. Um, so I'm going to end this and then I'm going to go take a break and then I'm going to have to come back and finish this. And then um, I guess tonight will be scary movie night since it's stormy out. So anyway, if you want worms, go on my website. Today's Friday. I'll ship the worms out on Tuesday. And um, if you have any questions, just, you know, ask and message me. So this is 42 minutes long. So, okay. So I see that this works now. So I guess we'll go live more often. Do you guys want to see that? Do you want to see me go live more often, even outside in the garden? Let me know down below. Tell me what you think. And, of course, share my videos. And go find my other worm channel, The Composting Worm Lady. And please subscribe. Okay, I see someone said yes, 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 yes. Good. We'll do it like on a Saturday night or something to where there's more people around also. Because I know people today, like they work. Okay, awesome. I'm getting a lot of yeses. I'm, I'm so glad. I know that people work on Fridays. So, um... I guess I'll see you all next time. <laughs> so later I'll be putting up the video of the other stuff I did in here. All right, guys. So take care. And I'll see you next time. Bye.